Hi everyone. Well, it's been a hot minute since I've been on here, but I did have another cancer reoccurrence, and so I've been a little bit busy with health issues. My husband had open heart surgery as well, so it's been just hectic around my house. But anyways, I am back with a puzzle haul. Because just because I've been sick does not mean I have not been shopping for puzzles. Because I think it's rather an addiction accumulating just as much as it is puzzling. So, for those of you that don't know me, I mainly shop at resale, thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales. You name it. Anywhere I can get second-hand puzzles, I go looking. Now, I have nothing against new puzzles. It's just my budget does not allow me to just buy at whim. Where at some estate sales, you can get puzzles for as low as 50 cents. So, that is my primary search. I go to Goodwills. I go to um, Deseret Industries, which is a church-run thrift store here in Utah. Um, I've been to Savers. I haven't had much luck over there. But anywhere I can find where I can get a deal on puzzles, I'll go looking. So as I show you my puzzle haul, I'll let you know where I got them, how I got them, and whether or not I know they have full pieces or not. Now part of thrift store shopping is you get puzzles from other people's households, apparently. So, a lot of times there may be missing pieces. There may also be other items within the box that you're not expecting. I will be making another video down the line. Not today, because I have already cleaned these all up. But I do have a little kit I use to take all the price tags off to remove all the tape that they seal the boxes shut with. And I use Goo Gone to remove any residue. And then inside the box, I always pull the pieces out and put them in the bag and get rid of any puzzle dust or any other extras that may be in there. Now, I had my first bad experience thrifting just the other day where I acquired a puzzle that had cat hair in it, and I am highly allergic to cats. I mean, within 20 minutes, I can't breathe, and if I go longer than that, I'll end up at the hospital. So I did end up throwing out my first puzzle, and I posted about it in some puzzle groups I'm in and got a lot of backlash on that, but I'd like to know your thoughts if you've ever had that similar experience, if you have any allergies or what you may or may not have found in thrift store puzzles, feel free to add that in the comments below. But let's get to my latest acquired puzzles. Okay, here is the first puzzle. It's a thousand piece by Ravensburger. And it's called Dories of Maine. And I was so excited to find this puzzle because I do not find a ton of Ravensburgers. But this puzzle, I always shake the box to see if they are loose in there or if they're in a bag. And this, I was excited it was in a bag. However, upon opening it, there's a nice little note saying, missing one piece. So, this one I will just put together, take a picture of where it's missing, and trade it off to somebody else. Because I do not collect missing piece puzzles, but I do put them together. So, the next one I found was also a Ravensburger. And this one is called Yosemite Valley. That's a thousand pieces. Now, of course, I'm going to have to count these to make sure they're in there. And I do do piece counting on all my puzzles just to verify that they're there. But one thing you should be aware of is each brand, each puzzle size and that have a different piece count. 
and even the same like a thousand piece Ravensburger a new one compared to an old one might have a different piece count so you really need to do your research on them what I do mainly is I will take this thousand piece and the other thousand piece and count them and see if they match up or not and then I keep track of what they are so when I get another one I know exactly how much there should be now there's also some surprises when you go to resale now this one I do not even know the maker it's little feet direct which I'm assuming because it says made in China is a Chinese company but I don't know but this one I bought still brand new sealed in the package and at the resale shop I was at they don't tape them it's just a local thrift store small in this town there's not you know all over the place or whatever they don't tape their boxes shut so I was able to open it and know that beforehand and I think I paid three dollars for this puzzle brand new now also I found this at a Deseret Industries and all I could tell by this by shaking the box was that it was in a bag and this is a Euro graphics thousand piece Elvis Presley puzzle I've never seen it before and I've never put together Euro graphics puzzles so this will be one of my first ones but this too I was happy to find is brand new sealed in the package and I think I paid a dollar fifty for this puzzle so that was a great find now this one I was super happy to find this is Clem and Tony now I don't know if I'm even saying that correctly but these are hard to come by by me I have not seen them I think I think they might have seen one at a Target store one time, but I can't even find them anywhere. And this is still sealed with the original price tag of $26.95, and I paid $2 for this at a Deseret Industries here in Utah. Now, this one I wasn't so thrilled with because I'm not into shaped puzzles. This is a buffalo shaped puzzle. It's by Suns Out. A lot of people like Suns Out. I'm not super big on them. This is um, Dennis Rogers. But this one I got for a dollar. And it was still brand new sealed. So I didn't turn it down for that price. This I also got at that same Desert Industries. So that was pretty exciting that's all the new ones that I found now you all don't know me that well yet but I collect Dowdle puzzles it's a local company here in Utah and I just love everything about them I love the the artwork I love the way they lock together I love the boxes I love everything about them now these are used I need to verify all of these but I found this Augusta. This one I was super thrilled to find. I'd never seen it before. It's by Sarah Granger Kimball. I don't know. The artwork's by Eric Dowdle, but I don't know what this even is. I'm going to have to do my reading. But they always give you a little story so you can get the history. So I was pretty excited to find this. It's only 100 pieces, but I thought it was a really cute image. And I found this Notre Dame one, which is an older one. It's got a different kind of box, but that's 500 pieces. And then I found this nice Christmas one called Christmas Delivery. That's also 500 pieces. And then these aren't Dowdle. These are just other ones I found. This I found at Goodwill. It's a thousand piece Coca Cola puzzle. And I paid a whole $1.99 for it. 
But I do look for bag puzzles because most likely the pieces are all there. And I found this butterfly one, which I was just eyeballing at Walmart. And I think I paid $2 for this one, too. And then this one. Which, again, this is American Flat. I never heard of this brand. But the thrift store allowed me to open it. And check the pieces in that. And they were bagged, so I was pleased with that. So hopefully all the pieces are there. But I'm excited to try this one out. I never had any of this brand. Now, the other way I get puzzles is I trade from people. I'm in puzzle groups online in, on Facebook. And there was this lady selling Ravensburger puzzles. And she guaranteed all the pieces were there. And the shipping wasn't that outrageous. And the price point was good. $10 for all these puzzles. Well, not all of them together, but each. Which, if you know Ravensburger, you know it's a good price. So, I am so excited to try all these. This is a 500 piece. It's a larger format. And the name of it is Apri Sky. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but there it is. Cute little winter scene with a, um, what do they call those? Can't you go St. Bernard? And then I got this beautiful 500 piece dragon puzzle from her. This one is called... I have no idea, but there is the name of it for you, if you're interested. Mystic Dragons. It's really pretty. And I'm not a big dragon person. And I got this nice 500-piece panoramic dog one. And this one is called All Labs Matter. And then I got these bigger ones. This is a 1500 piece. And this one is called Lake Magori, Italy. And this other thousand piece, which I thought was cute. I can't wait to do this one. It's called Shadows. And then I got this really cute one, which is like a cupboard. And that one is called uh, Kitchen Cupboard. Well, there's a appropriate name. And this beautiful 1500 piece and that one is called Mediterranean Harbor and then this pretty horse puzzle I love this one where it looks like just wild horses running and that one's appropriately called wild horses And then this gorgeous panoramic is 2,000 pieces of a castle. And the castle is called, let's see, I can't even say that. There's Swanshian Castle. I don't know how to say that, so sorry if that's wrong. But just a gorgeous, gorgeous puzzle. And the whole reason and why I ordered from her to begin with was this thousand piece Disney one of Dumbo. 
I'm collecting all of these. I wanted to get that big 40 some thousand puzzle, but I just don't have the room for it. So I'm working on collecting all the different Disney classic puzzles. So this was exciting to get the Dumbo one. So that's what I got. So that's it for today's puzzle haul. I think that is plenty. I have gotten so many puzzles in the time that I have been off of here. I can't even tell you. I have four bookshelves just packed with them now. So one of these days I will do just a puzzle collection and show you guys exactly what I have. I think, you know, my obsession with collecting is bigger than my obsession with puzzling. So if you guys don't know, I have another channel, which is my main channel on Dot Mandala Painting. I'll put a link for that in the description if you're interested. If you're not a subscriber here, I would love to have you here. I do plan on making more videos. It's just life has been so hectic and my other channel I've been at so long. So that kind of takes a precedence right now to keep it updated. Puzzling is much more just a hobby I do for relaxation every now and then. But collecting puzzles on the other hand is kind of an obsession too so it might be a lot more haul videos than it is puzzling videos but i intend to do some more reviews on that in the future but only on brand new puzzles which i do not buy that often i just i can get you know six or seven used puzzles for the price of one new one and the thrifty person in me just can't bite the bullet on that unless there's one I'm really been wanting and I can't get my hands on it. Right now, that is that Amy Stewart Banana Split puzzle. So if you have that and you want to give it up, let me know. <laughs> but that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.